Hey y'all, I'm Stormy with Plant Based Storm and I'm doing a video that I've never done on here before. I wanted to share a meal planning video. I'm two months postpartum after having a baby and I'm down 40 pounds and I just wanted to show y'all what I've been doing for meal planning. I'm not saying that you have to do this or that you should do this. I just thought that it might be helpful for some people out there that might be trying to lose weight, trying to keep themselves organized. <music> Meal planning saves your mental energy because decision making can be exhausting. We all make decisions from the time that we wake up in the morning to the moment we go to bed. And whenever you have a meal plan in place, it removes some of those daily decisions that you have to make. And it also removes the panic that you feel whenever you're ready to cook dinner and you're like, oh, everything I have is either not cooked, not ready frozen, whatever. What do we have that we can cook that's really quick and you end up going out and getting something because it's just simpler or ordering delivery or whatever the case may be. But if you have a meal plan in place, you're just like, oh, you look through your list. We're having this tonight. Or you can even do it in the morning. Uh, I do like to know ahead of time what I'm going to be cooking that night. It makes it so easy to come in and have it just done and it's kind of like seamlessly fits into our evening and we can get all the things that we need to get done with the kids, getting ready for work the next day and stay on track, eat healthy and stay within a budget. So it has so many benefits whenever you actually take the time to meal plan because it does take a little bit of effort to set aside the time to do it. But the more often that you do it, the easier it gets. And that time that you set aside is well worth the investment because it saves you so much time for the rest of the week. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into how I meal plan for the week. So the first thing that I want to talk about is... I have a master recipe list and I do not keep a master recipe list in the way that you would uh, just like keep a list of um, meals that your family likes, but you could do that and I probably should do that, but the way that I keep my master recipe list is I have a notebook, just a plain regular standard notebook and I write down meal plans by the week. And this is my master list and it usually contains our favorite recipes. And I've also got a page number. So at the bottom of the pages, I number the pages. If somebody really, really likes something, like especially my son, really like to encourage him to eat healthy. So anything that he really likes, I have a list in the back of the book under his name. And I put what page number it's on so that I can find it easily if I'm trying to find something to add to a new menu or whatever that I know is a tried and true favorite for him. So that is super helpful. But you could totally do a straightforward list of your recipes that your family loves and that you've been cooking for a while, the ones that you always rotate so that you can be like, oh yeah, we haven't had this in a while. Why don't we put this on the menu? It makes it so much easier, but I do like using a real notebook so that I can go back and look. You could, of course, use your phone, use your computer, use any method to keep all of your information, your family recipes um, your meal planning tactics in one place. It just makes it so much easier and helps you stay organized. So that would be the first thing that I would do is have a place to put all of the information that you're going to be uh, writing down or obtaining your recipes in one place. The thing I want to talk about is that I usually ask my husband, hey, do you have any special requests this week? And a lot of times he tells me, yeah, I'd like to have such and such. So I'll write that down. And what that does is that includes him in the meal planning. And so he's getting something in his week that he really wanted or he's looking forward to. And it also takes pressure off of me coming up with a couple of meals. So it's a win-win. But I do always include my husband and it's really helpful. 
So the next thing is I, I'm always on the lookout for new recipes, whether it's somebody telling me about a recipe, whether it's something that I come across on Pinterest, whether it's something I see, something at a restaurant, you know, or something on a commercial like, oh, that looks so good. I wonder how I can make that plant based or I get inspired by something and I come up with my own recipe, which makes it fun. You can keep a bunch of tried and true recipes in your repertoire and then try a new one out once a week once a month once every three months or you can just stick to your favorites just whatever you want to do but I love to add new recipes into our repertoire because it keeps it fun the next thing I would like to point out is I know what my cooking style is especially during the work week um, the things that I'm looking for is healthy tasty and fast so um, and this is especially true for breakfast and dinner and for my lunches I really really like to know ahead of time what we're gonna have so that I can have them packed and ready So breakfast is usually gonna be something that's low maintenance and easy like we like to do oatmeal for breakfast we like to do potatoes and a green so if I do something like that I'll take the potatoes and um, I don't know if you've ever seen the hang on I'll get them potatoes O'Brien and in the mornings I need something that's already ready and easy so I'll take this and I'll usually take half the bag and put it in the air fryer and then I will take some broccolini or broccoli and throw it in a pan and just steam it and that'll be my 50 50 plate for in the morning or I'll do cereal or I'll do fruit and a smoothie just whatever I do it's got to be easy and fast so those are like my go-to breakfast in the mornings for lunches, like I said, I want them to be pre-cooked and packed. So I will um, typically cook it like every couple days and pack a lunch or I'll pack a lunch from leftovers from the dinner the night before. Whatever I do every week, I make sure that I have my lunch ready for the next day because I can't take time in the kitchen and have it to, to pack a lunch up most of the time. I mean, I can add a few little things here and there, but I like to have the bulk part of my lunch already put together. And then for dinner on weeknights, I want it to take 30 minutes or less because we have so many things to do. I want to spend time with my kiddos for one, and then I want to make sure that we have everything that we need ready for the next day. We've got to get baths. I like to do bedtime stories and all of those kind of things that you'd like to try to squeeze in at the end of the day. I want to give them 100% of me and not leftovers and give everybody else 100%. So it's really important that my dinners are 30 minutes or less in the evening times. Evening times seem to go, like evening time just goes so fast and it's like the whole day kind of like goes on and on and on and then you get home and it like flies by does anybody else experience that let me know in the comments below if whenever you are at home in the evenings after work or after your busy day if it just seems to fly by because ours does do you have any tips and tricks on squeezing out quality time in the evenings during the work week let me know last thing that i want to uh, talk about is that whenever i'm getting ready to meal plan i try to keep in the forefront of my mind that i'm looking for recipes that share common ingredients and the reason why i want to do that is it saves time it saves money because i can batch cook so if i have two or three recipes that call for rice i can cook all of the rice at one time instead of having to cook rice here and rice there and you can see how that's time saving or it also saves money because I'm not having to buy so many different ingredients. I'm not having to buy rice. I'm not having to buy barley. And then another big tip that I would do before I actually sit down and plan out my meals is I'm going to freezer shop, refrigerator shop, and pantry shop. Because I may have a ton of stuff in my pantry my refrigerator and my freezer that I can use for the upcoming week. I want to look for things in my refrigerator that need to be used up so that it doesn't go bad and I don't waste my money. And I want to do the same for my pantry. So if I have any canned goods that need to be, you know, the expiration date's coming up, I might plan a meal around that particular 
item and I want to look in my pantry and say, oh, I've already got some black beans. I can cook these up. I've got rice already. I don't have to buy that. It's just a good practice to look at what you've already got and it really saves money and helps stretch your budget. So that's just a really good tip, something that I like to do every week before I sit down and meal plan. Breakfast are usually kind of like a fin for yourself. Like I said, we'll do potatoes, oatmeal, cereal, fruit, smoothies. So I kind of make sure that I have those things on hand. And for the smoothies, I like to keep most of the things I have in the freezer, you know, like frozen blueberries. And I'll take bananas that have started to go really brown and get really sweet because that's what makes smoothies so delicious and throw them in the freezer and keep those ready to go. Oatmeal you can cook the night before. So I like to keep my breakfast open-ended so I will write that in my meal plan like those are the about five things that we do and then for lunches I will actually plan out lunches and what I do is I plan out three lunches and plan to have them twice. Say we're going to have burrito bowls for lunch. I will make enough of the beans and cut up enough of the veggies and all the things that go along with it for us to have it for two days. So it's four portions because I do that for myself and I do that for my husband. And I do three meals using that technique. So I would choose, say, let me just look at one of my old meal plans so one of my old meal plans here i had crispy tofu for lunch we had lettuce cups and we had greek pasta salad so i would make two portions for two people for crispy tofu i would make two portions for two people for lettuce cups and i would make two portions for two people for the Greek pasta salad. And that just takes the pressure off of having to have something cooked or ready or made every single day. So it gives me a chance where I'm only like putting the lunch together three times a week instead of six times a week. So it like cuts down on half of what you're having to do in the kitchen. And then I will use the same method for dinners. So I'm gonna pick out three dinners that we're gonna have and I will cook at least enough to have it for two nights in a row. And that means that I'm only spending an hour and a half throughout the week, the work week at maximum in the kitchen because remember I like for it to be 30 minutes or less and I'm cooking two days worth at a time. That means that Every other night, I'm spending 30 minutes cooking during the work week. So that frees up so much time for me to spend with my family, which is something that I value way more than being in the kitchen cooking. So I guess you're wondering what I'd do on that seventh day. I might make a, a more elaborate meal, say on Saturday, where I have time and we're just really relaxed and hanging out, you know, and it, we have more time to cook. So that is something we like to do that might be fun. Um, or you can have a fin for yourself dinner, you know, where everybody just goes in there and finds what they can so um, it's totally up to you whatever works for your lifestyle but that's some of the things that we like to do and it just makes it so much simpler and easier so I'm going to write all of this up the way that I do it I'm gonna put a link in the description box and you can check it out on my blog where you can organize your meal planning and we may actually end up doing a meal planning recipe where I plan out an entire week. If you would be interested in that, let me know. Like I said, this is what I've been doing in order to stay on track, lose weight. I'm down 40 pounds. I still have a ways to go. I'm back to my starting point, just about back to my starting point before I had my sweet baby girl. I'm ready to get to my goal weight. So if you're interested in working on this with me, I am doing this here on YouTube with you guys. I'm going to be like continuing to post recipes and all of the different things that are helping me. And I would love for you to join. Let me know in the comments below what you're looking for. Um, and like I said, if you would be interested in doing an entire meal plan, uh, I would be more than happy to do that one video. So thank you so much for spending some time with me this afternoon. And as always, thanks so much for watching.